In our last video, we went over how to put the DS-212 scope together and looked at how we can operate it. As you may have noticed, the function generator built into the DS-212 is quite limited in its capabilities. So, we'll use a cell phone app called Firefox to replace the DS-212's built-in function generator. Opening the app for the first time, you'll find a number of different modes the app offers. To use your phone as a function generator, you'll need to scroll to the acoustics section and find the tone generator option at the bottom. Once you click the option, you can enter the desired frequency in the frequency tab, and hit the play button to play the tone. To inject the signal from the phone through the circuit, we'll use an audio cable and an audio jack. First, install the audio jack on your breadboard wherever it is the most convenient, and connect your cell phone to the breadboard using the audio cable. Refer to the audio jack status sheet to identify the ground pin and connect the jumper wire to it. Also connect the jumper wire to either one of the remaining pins. With the audio jack set up like this, the wire connected to the audio jack's ground pin obviously acts as a ground, and the other wire acts as a positive lead of a function generator. Connect the ground wire to your circuit's ground, and the positive wire to wherever the signal is supposed to be injected. There's no need to connect the third pin to anything. You can leave it unused. In this video, we discussed how we can use a cell phone as a function generator. Watch the next video for a walkthrough of a quick example project.